In the heart of the Atlantic lies a sea with no shores. For centuries, sailors spoke of vanishing ships, still waters, and enormous tentacles dragging boats into the deep. But were these stories pure myth or distorted fragments of reality? This is the mystery of the Sargasso Sea and the possibility that something very real is hiding beneath it. The Sargasso Sea is located within the North Atlantic Ocean, surrounded by four major ocean currents. The Gulf Stream, North Atlantic Current, Canary Current, and North Equatorial Current. It has no coasts, just open ocean. And drifting golden seaweed, called sar Sailors have long reported strange calmness, erratic currents, and even disappearing vessels. The water is so still, ships could remain trapped for days, or disappear entirely. And there's another mystery. For over 100 years, scientists have known that American and European eels travel thousands of miles to the Sargasso Sea to breed, but no one has ever seen them mating. No eggs, no larvae, just fully formed baby eels leaving the region. That alone raises eyebrows. There are giant octopuses, and they are real. The largest species known to science is the Enoroctopus dofalini, or the giant Pacific octopus. Verified specimens have reached over 9 meters across and weighed over 270 kilograms. One specimen caught near British Columbia was measured at 9.1 meters and 272 km, though unverified reports claim even larger individuals. There's also the Halifron atlanticus, or seven-arm octopus, which is one of the largest by must. A female found off New Zealand weighed an astonishing 75 kg, and some researchers believe it could rival the size of the giant squid. Unlike squids, octopuses don't have internal skeletons, so they can squeeze through tight crevices and remain hidden especially in deep-sea regions barely explored. Throughout history, there are dozens of accounts of massive sea creatures, some resembling octopuses or squids, recorded in ship logs and even early naturalist books. In 1752, Swedish bishop and naturalist Erik Pontipeden wrote in the Natural History of Norway about a creature he called the Kraken, describing it as so large it could be mistaken for an island and capable of dragging entire ships beneath the waves. In 1896, a mysterious, massive creature washed up on the coast of Florida, now known as the St. Augustine Monster. Some scientists initially believed it to be a giant octopus. Tissue analysis has never definitively resolved what it was. Even the legendary sea monster Scylla, in Greek, mythology has been speculated by modern marine historians to represent a large cephalopod sighting. Here's where it gets strange. The deep sea is the least explored part of our planet. More than 80% of the ocean remains unmapped and unobserved, especially at extreme depths. If a deep-sea octopus evolved to grow larger than we've ever observed, and lived in a remote, isolated region like the Sargasso Sea, how would we know? Many cephalopods are known for their camouflage, intelligence, and ability to change shape. Some even mimic rocks, coral, or other animals to hide in plain sight. If one such species had evolved in the abyss, it could potentially remain unseen for centuries, especially if it only rises to the surface occasionally. Just long enough to terrify a ship's crew, then vanish. So... Could there really be a giant octopus hiding in the Sargasso Sea? Or are these stories just echoes of myth, stretched by time? The truth is, we simply don't know. And in a world where most of the deep ocean remains a mystery, the idea of an undiscovered leviathan lurking beneath the waves doesn't sound so crazy after all. Subscribe if you want to keep exploring the world's strangest real-life mysteries. And remember, in the ocean, the deeper you go, the less we truly know.